God wants someone to be encouraged today. Like Job, hallelujah. God is going to turn it around. He's going to turn your captivity. In fact, everything that you lost, God says you're going to get it back plus double. Because that's exactly what he did for Job. Why did he do that for Job? God says, I'm doing it for you. The same reason why I did it for Job. Because you have been serving me faithfully. And the enemy was allowed to do this to you because I know you was going to pass the test. The enemy thought you were going to fail, but the, in the event that you were tested, you didn't give up. Hallelujah. And although you may have murmured and complained, you've repented and you have trusted me to turn this all around for you. And even if I didn't turn it around, says the Lord, you were still going to praise and serve me. And so that made the enemy mad to see how you stood the test. Hallelujah. During the persecution, during being oppressed, during being misunderstood. I want you to understand today that God is saying to you right now that because you did not give up, hallelujah, because you stood the test because you didn't curse God. In the midst of it all, God says, like Job, I'm turning your captivity and I'm blessing you with not only what you've lost, but I'm blessing you double for your troubles. I'm blessing you with double honor. I'm blessing you with double portion of prosperity. And in fact, I'm going to bless you with everlasting joy receive it today in jesus name double for your troubles hello i'm prophetess therese and today's prophetic word is double for your troubles and so what the lord is saying to someone today is that because you have been hit with a double dose of troubles because you've been hit with more of your share of content and disrespect god is saying i'm going to bless you with double for your troubles double recompense and so the lord wanted me to prophesy this over you today isaiah 61 verse 7 that instead of shame you will receive a double portion of honor that you will possess a double portion of prosperity in the land that the Lord has given you and that everlasting joy will be yours my God and so the Lord wants you to be encouraged today for who this word is for it will resonate he wants you to be encouraged today that you have a reason to rejoice you have a reason to celebrate you have a reason to laugh at the future as the Proverbs 31 woman does Okay, God wants you to understand today that when you see these attacks coming at you, when you see people insulting you, when you experience people insulting you and you experiencing them attack you and disrespect you, blatant or even directly, God wants you to be so encouraged today and to know that you know that you know that it is God who is going to vindicate you. It is God who vengeance belongs to. And it is God who will contend with those who contend with his chosen. God does not play about you. I told you before and I'll tell you it again. God says, I don't play when it comes to my anointing. I don't play when it comes to my prophets. God says, touch not my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. And some people think it's a game. And God says, he will have the last laugh. And God says, he will have the last laugh in your vindication. My God. God says, hallelujah. God says, I will vindicate you. I will elevate you. I will back you up God says I am backing you up and not only am I backing you up God says I am going to compensate you God says double recompense is headed your way my God okay so God is saying because you have not thrown away your confidence in the Lord 
you will receive the reward of it. God says reward is recompense. Recompense is compensation. Compensation comes from pain and suffering. God says, I'm going to compensate you because of your pain and suffering. And, and one of the ways that I'm going to compensate you is through finances, is through joy. Because God says that I care about your tears because your tears are not crocodile tears for who this word is for. God says, they that sow in tears will reap with shouts of joy. My God, someone is entering into a season of joy. Your weeping, hallelujah, was for a moment, but your season of joy is coming in the morning. God says, you are entering into your season of joy. Hallelujah. God says, double for your troubles. Double for your troubles instead of shame because the enemy tried to humiliate you. The enemy tried to embarrass you and God is saying hallelujah it did not prosper and it shall not prosper in fact God says I those who hope in the Lord my God hallelujah those who hope in the Lord will not be put to shame but guess who will be put to shame the enemy and the enemy is Satan because God wants you to understand today that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places so God says, because you learn how to fight the good fight of faith, hallelujah, because you didn't throw away your confidence, which is the similar word for faith, because you didn't throw in your faith, you will receive the reward of faith, hallelujah, which is compensation. And that's what the enemy wanted. The enemy wanted your reward. But God says, they didn't go through the pressing, my God, and when it was time to stand the test. They didn't go through the pressing when you had to go through the process. They didn't sow the tears that you sow when you had to persevere through the insults, through the content and disrespect. And God says, because you had to deal with double dose of trouble, more than your share of content, God says, I am going to bless you double double for your troubles. I am going to bless you with double recompense, double the blessings I'm hearing in my spirit. And God wants you to understand right now that what he has in store for you is big. It's going to be so big that it's going to bless you with not only joy, but everlasting joy. The reason why some of us are a heavy hitter in the spirit is because the spirit of the Lord is within us. And God, the Lord, is a heavy hitter. He hits hard. Okay? And so this is why we have to pray for mercy for our enemies because one hit from God will wipe them all out. And that's exactly what happened to Pharaoh and his, his chariots. They were just suddenly washed away. And so the one to fear, to reverence is the Lord. The one to expect reward and recompense from is the Lord. And God wants you to understand today that his word is real. He stands on his word. God is saying, instead of the enemy putting you to shame, you will receive double the blessings, double recompense double for your troubles. God is going to bless you with a double portion of prosperity. My God, God is saying because of your pain and suffering, it's compensation time. God said, I'm going to compensate you financially, physically, spiritually, mentally. Okay. God is going to compensate you every part of your life in this season. The Lord is for the oppressed. And God is saying that the enemy will not oppress his people any longer. In this month, the oppressed, hallelujah, in the body of Christ, the oppressed that God is calling into his marvelous light shall receive double for their troubles. The enemy is not getting away with attempting to steal, kill, and destroy you because you made it this far. 
Hallelujah. And every attack of the enemy to steal, kill, and destroy has not prospered. And so God is saying, I am going to bless you with double for your troubles. God is the best compensator. God is the best judge because God knows exactly how much suffering any of us have been through or are dealing with. And God wants you to be encouraged today that there's blessing in the pressing, that your suffering for Christ's sake was not in vain. So whoever is attacking you for your small beginning, for walking with the Lord, for running with the Lord, taking a stand for the Lord, who realize I'm not going to accept this abuse anymore. I'm not going to um, be comfortable being in oppression. I'm not going to be comfortable, hallelujah, under the pharmaceutical and Sadducees spirit or foolishness. God is saying, I got you. God says, I am the one who called you out of darkness and into my marvelous light. I am the one who led Abraham out of, out of his uh, country, okay? I am the one who leads you into your promise land. I am the one who called you out. So I am the one who would take care of you along the way. Be encouraged that the enemies that's been coming against your destiny, that's been being used by Satan, to try to hit you with more problems, trying to make that as worse in your life, trying to afflict you, trying to discourage you, trying to mock you because you chose to fear God and not man. Listen, they're going to regret it. And it's not our job to fix anyone. It's our job how to respond. And God is saying, Continue to respond by obeying my word. God will see you through. Okay. It's not over for you. In fact, God is saying, I'm going to bless you with double honor instead of shame. If you just stay with me, if you just rock with me, if you just ride with me, the Lord says, hallelujah, vindication is coming. Double honor is coming. A double portion of prosperity is coming. Hallelujah. Everlasting joy is about to explode in your life. Hallelujah. You will know that this joy came from the Lord. And because this joy comes from the Lord that the world didn't give you, they cannot take it away. Okay. So be encouraged today that you are not going to be put to shame for who this word is for. You're not going to be put to shame. Okay. God is saying enough is enough. In fact, not only will you not be put to shame, but I'm going to bless you double. I'm going to bless you with double the blessing, double for your troubles. Continue to trust in the Lord. Lean not on your under, own understanding in all your ways. God says, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So, and not only will he direct your path, but he will he will be with you on this narrow path. You're not on this narrow path alone. And you're not alone. And this is why some people get it twisted. They may not see you running in a click and things like that. Or they may see you without a spouse at this moment. So they try to take advantage of that. What they don't realize is the Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. And if you have children, he is with your children. God says in his word that he's a father to the fatherless and God will be everything you need him to be. And he is. Okay. This is why some people are in shock that you survive what you survive because by now they thought you would have been, have fainted. Okay. Because with the little resources you seem to have, with the lack of support that you seem to have, with you tending to your children, the sheep, in this case, you know, they slept on you. And, and God is saying, because they've slept on you, now they're going to see how he rises you up. Hallelujah. Whether that be in your new job, your career, your business, wherever the Lord has chosen to, to fulfill your purpose. God wants you to understand today that... He has the last say over your life. 
And he has determined today that you ought to receive double recompense, double blessing, double for your troubles. And stand on Isaiah 61 verse 7, that instead of your shame, you will receive double honor double portion of prosperity and everlasting joy. And I pray that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, that this word falls on good ground in the name of Jesus. God bless you. And I will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Welcome. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. For those who have been sowing into the word, thank you for your love and support. For those who would like to sow into the word, I will leave the information in the description box down below. I pray and declare that when you sow a seed, that God blesses you back a thousandfold. Thank you. And thanks for watching. I will see you next time. God bless. Mm -hmm.